For bighorn sheep, the wild means some of the most rugged parcels of land in North America. Despite what may appear to us as insurmountable terrain, the bighorn is well adapted to these steep, breathtaking places. And cold and snow are just part of the territory. Bighorns can handle some of the toughest weather conditions that Mother Nature can dish out and not even blink. But they're a bit picky when it comes to choosing a particular piece of real estate to live in. The first requirement is it has to be a place with a view. Perfect world for a bighorn, I guess the way I would characterize it, bighorn sheep rely on their eyesight most. They evolved in open, high visibility habitats where they could look around, detect predators. So the more open the habitat, the better off for wild sheep. But there's got to be an escape terrain component as well. And the habitats that bighorns need most are those rugged mountains and desert reaches devoid of roads and human congestion. One such place where all the right elements come together is just outside the border of Yellowstone National Park. Northwest Wyoming has been, through time, and continues to be the stronghold for bighorn sheep. In the five herd units west of Cody, we've got an approximate 4,000 head. You need the right mix of uh, forage, quality and quantity, the topography and the escape terrain, and the visibility in that habitat. The bighorns and their northern cousins, known as thinhorns, occupy the most available true wild sheep habitat left on the continent. Though the individual states and provinces may vary in physical makeup, the earmarks are all the same. Mountain sheep or wild sheep epitomize wild country. They live from the deserts in Mexico to the far north in Canada and Alaska. They're such a robust animal in the country they live in. Their agility, their behavior is something that a lot of people find fascinating. Among the most fascinating behaviors in nature are those displayed during the bighorn rut or mating period. Excitement is in the air as the sheep gather in late fall in an age-old courtship ritual to see which rams are going to win favor with the ewes of the herd. It's really the time when folks have the best opportunity to see the classic headbutting behavior that everybody associates with this animal. But there are a lot of neat, subtle things that rams do during this period of time that are really fun to watch as well and watch for. Um, a lot of times they'll turn their head to the side, they'll do um, little postures where they'll raise their head back and kind of cock their neck a little bit. And all of these various things are, are just a big ram's attempt, uh, and in some instances a smaller uh, ram's attempt, to impress both the ladies in the herd and the other rams that may be trying to buy uh, for a spot in the reproductive cycle of things. 